Sorry, my camera is precariously sitting on the edge of the vase. Um, good morning, YouTube. Uh, my name is Jen. Uh, I Finspire, and I have a confession to make. I live about um, three quarter miles from a grocery store, so less than a mile, and I get in my car and drive to the grocery store to get the things I need. Um, <laughs> A couple of years ago, I decided that I was going to start walking to the store, <clears throat> get my exercise that way, walk in there and walk it back, and, and um, so I did that for a couple of days, and then it just got, you know, just a little bit too much work, so I decided to keep driving, so hence, here I am having weight loss surgery, so I need to make a lot of changes in my attitude, and this is one of the things I'm going to go back to, is getting exercise wherever I can, especially for things that, you know, it's going to be two miles maximum walk in there and back. So I wanted to show you something I bought a couple years ago. I used it a couple times, and now I'm going to start using it again. Now that the weather's changing and getting nicer, I want to show you what that is. And it's this handy-dandy little bag thing. This um, I bought uh, with, you know, I wanted to get a cart that I could wheel back and forth to the grocery store, but some of them were just really big, and I didn't want something cumbersome that I didn't have space to store and that it was heavy and you know so I got this bag it's a really cool little bag I'll have to put up in the little sidebar over there or over there um, where I got it and how much it costs it's been a while it's been I'll have to try and find that information um, but it's got this little zippered pouch that you can um, I don't know if you can see any of this that you can put your money and your your cards and stuff in and then this bag move back a little bit the bag has velcro and it opens up into a shopping bag, which fits probably about two or three grocery bags worth of food. It's definitely not good for your big, big trips, but I'm planning to go daily now, so I would just get dinner items, breakfast items, milk, anything that we would need for the next day. Um, so I'd much rather start doing that than you know going and spending two hours in the store getting everything I need. So this great little thing, um, it folds out, it's got um, these little wheels, push them down to pop them open. You can see all this. So you've got little wheels and little standy things that help it stand up. It's got a little mesh bag on it. You can put some extra things on the outside. And um, it really does. It works well. When you open it up, the Velcro at the top, it has these long, long handles that, these things that you can adjust, uh, make as long as you need. So if you're real tall and you're dragging it behind you, you can lengthen it. And once it's full with food, it does. You just um, tilt it back on its wheels. And drag it behind you, and it really does um, work well. It's kind of um, it's kind of hard to demonstrate that when it's not full of food because um, it kind of flops over. But once it's full and it's got things in it, it pulls really well. And then what's so great about it is you just fold it back up. You just push the things and push the wheels down. When I get home, and I actually hang this in my kitchen, um, put the little straps back in. Like that I just hang it on the wall in my kitchen. It's been there for two years, not moving. And um, then I have, it's like a little purse that I take with me on the way there, so I don't have the really cumbersome cart going there. So any, any of you other people who live close to a store, um, there's no excuse. It's getting nice out. Spring is coming, and um, I'll put the information for this little thing up, and hopefully everybody else gets walking and, and exercising, and will be dropping all that weight. Thanks, guys. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Okay, I'm back. I did it. I am back in the land of the living. It was uh, not as easy as I thought it would be. You would think just a 30-minute walk would be not so hard, but it was a little bit hard for me, so I'm a little sweaty and I look a little razzled, so you'll have to excuse me. But I did it, so I am back from the grocery store. It took me 45 minutes in all, 15 minute there, 15 minute back, and then it was only like, you know, actually it was probably about 20 minutes back, so I then just a little time in the store just getting the stuff I needed, but I wanted to show you, here's the bag, all filled up. So it stands up nicely. Um, and I'll unpack it and kind of show you how much that it holds um, right, right now. So this is um, all that was in the bag. I could have fit um, a little bit more on the outside and a little bit more in the top, but I was just getting some things for dinner and some stuff that we were out of. And again, remember, I'm a pre-opper, so I have some things in here that are pre-op food. I don't want to hear any nasty, <laughs> nobody's done nasty comments, but I don't want any comments on like, you shouldn't eat that, because I know a lot of this from my kids too and my husband. So. Here is the stuff that was all in my bag, and then when I hang it up, it just goes on this handy-dandy little hook here, and it's done and done. So I hope you all have a great day. Talk to you later. Bye.